This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name's Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for tuning in, joining us on the podcast voted best Rhode Island, the only podcast voted best Rhode Island 2019 and 2018, two That's years right. consecutive, in the entire history of print publication, just the written word, Mary. Celebrating never, podcast. <laughs> never, never in Rhode Island has the same podcast won two times in a row the best of Rhode Island award. So we'll pat ourselves on the shoulder for that. And of course, thank all of you listening for taking the yes. time to vote. Well, so course, incredibly yes. thankful. Yes. 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 As I uh, just, you know, come up with all the ways to qualify that and, and quantify <laughs> it. Uh, the day we are recording this is the day before th- Halloween. The day of the release is Halloween. And folks, I, I never pretend to be Christina Ernie or Mark Searles from NBC 10's weather team, but, the forecast is not looking all that great. So what exactly are they saying? Are they saying it's like a nor'easter? Or are they saying it's just going to be a regular rainstorm? Because here's the thing, Ben. Like, when we grew up, okay? When we grew up, we went trick-or-treating, rain, sleet, snow. I remember many years that it was raining that my parents just gave me a rain slicker and pre- told me to pretend I was a secret agent. But now... It's like, you know, Halloween is a much bigger to do than it was in the 80s. So (laughs) it's like I for one, I for one would like to see you go out on on the street and and ask people, ask children, what is a rain slicker? (laughs) First and foremost. But no, I agree with you. And, you know, until actually like mid-November, we're still in hurricane season. Yes. You remember, I think it was like seven years ago, we're celebrating the seven year anniversary of uh, not celebrating, but remembering the seven year anniversary of Hurricane Sandy, which mm-hmm. eventually turned into Superstorm Sandy. I didn't realize that that storm had killed almost 200 people. Oh, my gosh. I didn't yeah, realize I that either. That there was 50 people who died down in the New Jersey, New York area. Mm-hmm. And uh, but, you know, so we're still in the thick of it. We can still get some serious storms. Last week, we had a serious storm mm-hmm. uh, that that kind of came out of nowhere two weeks ago, rather broke some records yeah. as far as how fast things drop. So I've seen some s- cities and towns, communities in Massachusetts and New Hampshire say that they are going forward with delaying wow. the trick-or-treating until Friday or Saturday. Of course, it's going to revive the whole conversation. Should yep. it always be the Saturday before? Um, and we've talked about that beforehand, but you know, folks, all I can say is it's probably better off you just have candy in your house, leave the lights on every day that you're home from now until <laughs> until Thanksgiving. <let's>, yeah, <laughs> at least you at know, least Thanksgiving. It's so true. It's so true. I, it is. It's funny. I mean, if it is, if it's a massive storm, I mean, this goes to show you. I have not watched the news recently because I don't realize how dangerous this is. But who if has it's the just, time? I know. Seriously, man. Um, <laughs> But really, like, I remember rain, sleet, snow, you go out because there's free candy. And to be honest, the kids that do go out on Thursday, they're going to get so much more candy because oh, yeah. nobody else is going to be trick-or-treating. They're going to sure. make out like bandits. I will do my traditional at some point in the evening, say, hey, guess what? Lucky number Five. seven, <laughs> eight, whatever, three. First one here, you're the lucky winner. You win the jackpot. Boom. Whole bowl of candy with the bowl. You take it. I love it. And yeah, it's uh, although now we have little foster man and he's going to want to uh, participate in the fun. I think he's going to get a charge out of it. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited for that. And and hopefully, you know, it'll all uh, pan out well. But that's just uh, it'll it'll be fun. But what I want, folks, if you're listening at home, you got to share with us some photos of the trick or treating mm-hmm. of what's going on. Post it on our socials, tag us so we can see it. Hashtag Wicked Roadie so we can see exactly what you're seeing out there because we live vicariously through you. Little known fact, Mary and I do not go out at all. <laughs> We're hermits. <laughs> we don't even go. We don't even get into the same room to record this podcast no. <laughs> 90% of the time. Uh, breaking that fourth wall, which you're not allowed to do at certain radio, excuse me, certain TV stations in the area. <laughs> but, you know, it's a big secret. Oh, we can't, can't reveal that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, but it's uh, we, we don't get out. So please share us your phone. No, I'm kidding. You, you do get out. As a matter of fact, uh, did I see that the little lad, the Larson lad, mm-hmm. 
is writing and has gone to a library as of recent. Oh, yeah. And we go to the library two times a week generally. I love our okay. librarians. But yeah, he's he's all about writing. He's becoming a little author. and a literary. Uh, yeah. It's pretty exciting. Now that he knows how to spell a little bit and write all of his letters pretty decently well, this is like rocking and rolling. Before it was a lot of... You know, chicken scratch, which you applied, but now he's in first grade. So this is really kind of where they're able to take those creative juices and do something with it. Are we still talking upstairs, downstairs, basement when it comes to writing your letters? Oh, what is that? You've, oh, you've never no. heard that. They do um, airplane and grass and worm. <laughs> and there's something else that I forget. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> I suppose this is a change due to the fact that. Uh, after Katrina, there weren't a lot of basement houses being built. The flooding. Oh, yeah. Horrible reference. <laughs> okay. Horrible reference. But, you know, <laughs> we live on a slab. We don't have a basement. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> your, your parents don't love you as much, clearly. <laughs> no, but uh, so if you're tuned in while you're on the road working, maybe you're writing a, a, an epic tale yourself, just getting errands done, just listen and enjoy the episode. If you hear something that piques your interest, I am just a horrible person, Mary. <laughs> You can find all the links in it. I'm just thinking about that even more. It's like, why'd you say that? Leave it in, Blake. It's fine. Links and info and, and your complaints on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. Well, you know, a nice little segue, my friend, for this wicked, mm. interesting pick of the week is that maybe you're you're an evil, evil villain at heart. Maybe there's like, you know, a dark side to you. Yeah. That might have to come out this weekend in Providence. Yes, uh, I will be there at Rhode Island Comic Con 2019. This is the eighth annual. And Mary, I got to tell you, this every year it gets bigger and better. They always do some amazing things. This year they're encouraging you to take a vacation to Comic Con. Why? Because Chevy Chase will be there. Is it oh. Chevy or Chevy? Chevy. Chevy. Ch- Ch- Chevy. 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 Chevy Ch- Chase. Yeah. I, I read it quickly. I'll get it right before I have to actually talk to them. Uh, Chevy Chase will be there. One of the biggest, uh, bigger names there as well. Robert Englund. Uh, I mean, we're talking Elijah Wood, Christina Ricci. You can We've actually got- spend Halloween night. Like if, if you're if you like Robert Englund, a.k.a. Uh, Freddy Krueger, he's chilling out at uh, Providence Place Cinemas and he wants like you can hang out with him. On yeah, Halloween. they're going. They're going to watch uh, a the the Nightmare on Elm Street that night with him, uh, so you can really so take it up. That's a pre-show <laughs> thing, by the way. That's before the show even starts because the show is November third first through the third mm-hmm. over at the Dunkin' Donuts Center and the Rhode Island Convention Center. They will have some panels happening at the Omni. I've been there the past three years hosting all their Facebook lives, and I will tell you this: get an Uber or a Lyft to the event. Elaborate, please. Yes, uh, because the, there are so many people there. Parking is a premium. You're going to want to get an Uber or a Lyft, have somebody drop you off, pick you up, because you don't want to be parking far away. Mm-hmm. Also, go on the website and map out and plan out your itinerary, because there are just so many great things to see, so many exhibitions, so many panels, so many different things. And you really have to... You have to... Be strategic when you're planning this all out, because you may be seeing something at the Dunkin Donuts Center and, and, you know, you lose track of time. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, there's a panel starting in two minutes over at the Omni. It's going to take you more than two minutes to get from the Dunkin Donuts Center to the Omni just because of the sheer volume of people. Plus, you want to make sure you get in there. Uh, Very important. This will be Carol Spinney's last appearance at a convention. Who is Carol Spinney? Good question. Big Bird. Oh, my god! The original, the original Big Bird. He worked with Jim Henson, Frank Oz, all the crew there. Uh, he, he, This is his last. He announced it a few months back that this was going to be his final Comic-Con convention. He's just getting older, and he's he's just at a point. He spoke with his wife. I saw mm-hmm. the statement, and I can understand and respect it, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Charles Martinet is the voice and has been the voice for many years of Mario from, you know, the Nintendo games. Yeah. He's going to be there. They've got wrestlers who are going to be there. William Eliza- Shatner. <laughs> yes, of course. William Shatner. How could I forget? David Yost, Elizabeth Berkeley. Uh, it's it's 
unbelievable There's the amount. There's four castmates from the Harry Potter movies. And there are four castmates that I know of from Family Matters, including what? Urkel, what? Waldo, Geraldo, Faldo, uh, Kelly Williams, who was uh, Laura on Family Matters, and Eddie. I forget Eddie's name. But he was the older brother, yeah. Eddie. Uh, he was there as well. But yeah, though, so look, you could spend... Elijah we could spend, Wood's going to be there? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be there. Uh, I think he's. I think he's helping to clean up after after dinner. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've never been to the Rhode Island Comic Con. I've been to New York. I've been to other cons. I've never actually been to ours because I've not wanted to have to pay to park or an Uber. I'm like a total snob. I live the next city over, and I'm like, oh, the it's too crowded it's how I even feel when I go to the beach in the summer like I go at like five o'clock when everyone's gone but tell me a little bit you know what to expect for someone who's never been to the Rhode Island Comic Con aside from planning ahead um, do you have any other tips because you've been there before you're you're going to be there again and I obviously want to go this year <laughs> If you have a costume, please go check out the rules and regulations with regards to accessories for the costumes. If you have something that does have a prohibited item on it and you wanted to get it signed, they do have a way for you to get that taken care of. Okay. Uh, that that's that is that is just something to you know that's just something to yeah. In keep regards in mind. to weapons, exactly. So keep that in mind. Um, the uh, the biggest thing, like I said, is is check out the the mapping and everything. But also, and and I know we've talked about this for a while, but it is a really big event. Literally, uh, tens of thousands of people will be pouring into the city. There are lots of benefits that comes with your tickets to Comic Con and your passes. Restaurant have special deals, special drink offers, special appetizer nice. offers, and whatnot. Really, fully take advantage of it and enjoy the the whole. Uh, experience because I love it. yeah it's it's something it's something certainly to uh, it's certain something to behold mm -hmm. you, you're not going to want to miss want to miss that so that is the wicked interesting ladies and gentlemen Rhode Island Comic Con 2019 and now here's the wicked fun in the four zero one. <laughs> talk quite frequently about the amazing television and, and movies that take place being filmed here in and around Rhode Island and the different filmmakers that are here in this state. And this weekend, there is the 20th annual Pawtucket Film Festival. Um, it's taking place actually on Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Pawtucket Visitor Center. Um, and it's only $10. That includes entry to the artist reception. You get some complimentary libations, a live Ooh. musical performance, a short films program, a feature film, and a fe festival t-shirt. So lots of cool things going on there. Uh, just a very different night. You know, if you're someone who... Um, actually, no, it's not just Friday. It is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I thought it was all day, and it sure is. So it's just another great way. You know, there's so much art that takes place here in this state in various forms. And if you have been sitting here, maybe you're not necessarily in the Halloween spirit. Maybe you don't want to be handing out candy to those kids on Friday night or Saturday night. You can head on over to Pawtucket to check out the film festival. Mama Mia, here I go again. It's not a show for children. <laughs> we learned that a few weeks ago yes, when I was pre-promoting this. I said, hey, bring your kids <laughs> out. And then you said, Ben, uh, that's going to mean a lot of weird conversation on the way home. <laughs> I respect that. Mary is much more You're cultured welcome. and in, she's smarter than I am, ladies and gentlemen. That's why her name goes first. <laughs> the <laughs> Who's my daddy? Well, in, let's in, think in, about it. <laughs> in order of intelligence, Mary Larson. <laughs> Then you wait 15 minutes before no. you say my name for the Wicked Rory podcast. But Academy Players of Rhode Island, all filled with absolutely brilliant scholars when it comes to uh, this whole the, the, the whole acting scene. Mm -hmm. Academy Players of Rhode Island. Mamma Mia opens up November 1st. It continues through the month of November to the 24th. So there are various dates, but there are limited Limited, ladies and gentlemen, please listen to what I'm saying this very moment. There are limited tickets available. Mm -hmm. Order them now. This is not a show you want to miss. The Academy Players is just an absolutely 
world class organization. They do amazing, amazing work. And you're not going to want to miss this, bottom line. So check that out. That is happening over, you just go to the website. They also, you can buy the tickets online. They have a wonderful concession stand there in honor of Frank O'Donnell's daughter, Carrie, who tragically passed away uh, well long before her time. But her, her star is still shining bright uh, over there at the Academy Players of Rhode Island. So check that out. Mama Mia, <laughs> do not bring your kids or else you will be in trouble. Nah, not really. I mean, hey. hey. It's really fun, catchy music. I mean, that yeah. it could go complete. It usually goes completely under the radar. I'm not going to lie. But if they do pick up on the themes, <laughs> you do need to have a little explanation handy. And that would be mary at gmail.com to send all your... Ex- <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just kidding. No, no. What else do we got going on? On Sunday from 11 to 4, if you find yourself wanting to head to Providence, but this time on the east side, so you can avoid all that Comic-Con traffic, there's going to be Super Art Sunday happening at RISD. So remember, we're talking about just how many great different art forms we have here in the state. And there's going to be family-friendly activities inspired the exhibition of Designing brilliance. The whole family can be looking, thinking, making things together as you explore the art galleries and there's tons of projects going on. Um, Of course, you'll be able to like some of the examples are creating uh, table settings like dinner table settings. Um, You could do some stop motion animation at a photo booth. You could learn how to cast elements like casting silver. You won't actually be working with silver, but you'd learn a little bit about that. So it's just a great way. Once again, you know, you'd be able to see the fine art, get a taste of it yourself, whether it's just a day for yourself, a day date, getting together with friends, or maybe bringing those like older kids that you have that are really interested in art and won't run amok like my kids. My kids, I mean, they could probably enjoy it, but let's be real. I would rather go to this by myself and enjoy well, the process. And uh, I don't know, just do you ever get inspired, Ben? Like when you know, when you're seeing this artwork and then you try it, it may not come out the same, but it's fun just to know what the process is like. I get inspired sometimes by things where they like it's it's those home renovation shows and I just all of a sudden say, you know, I can do that. And and at times I can. Mm-hmm. But it takes a lot longer than the 30 minutes than it did on the program. <laughs> just so, you know, like FYI. Just, yeah. They, those 5-minute craft videos. Yeah. They're nice. Ain't, ain't none of them take. <laughs> well, you know, they take five minutes just to to conjure up the confidence. Never mind. Yeah, no. It's pull out your MIG welder. It's a five minute craft. Who has that? Nobody Seriously. does. Crazy. People welders do. Not the average human being. Uh, but average humans can go to the Festival of Meals on Saturday, November second, mm. f- benefiting. Meals on Wheels of Rhode Island. This is going to be taking place Saturday night, six o'clock, the Pawtucket Armory Arts Center, uh, and and folks, the the whole the whole Meals on Wheels program, the original food truck, as I call them, they are celebrating fifty years. Wow, fifty years of of just you know keeping people literally being the lifeline. Mm-hmm. Uh, for so many people. So this will uh, th- there's VIP options available. There'll be a culinary competition, lots of food from dozens of Rhode Island restaurants. There'll be silent and live auctions, hundreds of supporters helping to continue the crucial work of being there for seniors who not necessarily are on a fixed income, just have the, the limited mobility. I'm looking at the list of restaurants and 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 are you drooling? Co- co- <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's probably not a good idea that I haven't eaten at this point. Uh, you know, I'm doing this uh, this podcast on an empty stomach. It's like going grocery shopping when you're hungry. Not a great not idea, great. but but that's okay because we have more food stuff to talk about in just a few minutes. But I don't want you to miss. And if you can't go to this event, please consider supporting Meals on Wheels. They do amazing work uh, for the seniors in Rhode Island. If you are able to go, it is 50, uh, it is uh, 50 years of celebration for Meals on Wheels, November 2nd. Six o'clock at the Productive Armory Art Center. Speaking of food, mm. there's something going on as well, but not just one night, right? No, no. Uh, folks, if you are worried that you're going to be approaching the food holidays and you're only going to be able to wear your stretchy pants just once, no. <laughs> that Newport has you covered. 
for 10 days, November 1st through the 10th. It is Newport Restaurant Week. And this includes it just tastefully crafted cuisine at a variety of restaurants, $20 two course lunches and dinner offerings that are three course prefix menus for $35 or three course premier menus for $50. Not too shabby. Mary? Yeah. Y- you can't go down to Newport for any of these prices, no matter what time. I mean, you spend $20 just at the Ben and Jerry's, and that's just ice cream. <laughs> so now true. this is an opportunity for you to go down there and get an incredible meal at some of the best restaurants down there. I love going to Newport in the off season. Shout out to Sardella's. Great, great people down there. Absolutely delicious food. Uh, my favorite Italian restaurant down there in Newport. Of course, there's there's all sorts of... What's your favorite Newport restaurant? Oh, my gosh. Ah, I got you. Yeah, thank you. I'm like, oh, I go to so many. Um, gosh, where did I go recently? Ugh. McDonald's. Yeah, not McDonald's. Let me tell you what. Uh, it'll come <laughs> back to me. <laughs> I promise. Oh, because we in were there. In the best we were, way possible. We were in there. In, well, of course, like we go during the summer, but we were there and ate in some really good restaurants last winter as we were getting ready for our live podcast. Oh, that's Landercast. right. I remember that. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but I'm blanking on the names. Oh, I'm so bad. I will remember, well, though, at some point. Regardless, and there out. Regardless, there are a ton of great restaurants down there, folks. It's it's that it's it's the perfect time to go because, you know, the buzz of summer is just faded off. Get some crisp autumn days water. And let me tell you something. If you are from like the Providence area or the city in New, you know, Cranston mm-hmm. or any of these inner places, Newport is always warmer at this time of year because of the water around it. So it's not as cold. You can walk around a little bit and grab yourself maybe a, a warm beverage. Of sorts. Yes. And uh, meaning coffee. <laughs> or warm. Oh, yeah, yeah, some, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It, but, but we're not inc- encouraging public public drunkenness. Uh, but uh, the but it is it is something awesome. So don't miss out. It's Newport Restaurant Week. All right, so we've got two listings for this week's Wicked Family Friendly Picks. First up is a lantern walk. So, of course, this Sunday, just a little reminder, we get to fall back. We get an extra hour of sleeping, possibly, unless you're like Ben or myself and you have a young one in your family. And that means you just are up an extra hour in darkness. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> so You're the winner. <laughs> this uh, special event is taking place called the Lantern Walk on Sunday, which is the day that we're turning the clocks back. Um, um, from 4 until 5 p.m. This is happening at Revive the Roots in Smithfield, and it's in conjunction with Tinker Garden. But basically, it's a nighttime walk, and you are going to be able to come with the kids and do um, a free little magical event to see the beauty in darkness. You get to bring a lantern. Kids who like are already enrolled in the Tinker Garden class, they've been making one all along, but this is, in, this is open to the public. So you can either bring your own lantern, they have directions on the site about how to create your own lantern, and you just get to go and have a very little magical walk along and enjoy enjoy the darkness, which usually kids find to be a little scary, but it's going to be dark pretty early from here on out. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's that's awesome. So the lantern walk, I like that. Yeah. This is the final weekend of the jack o Spectacular. We took the little foster man last week. We took him as soon as it opened. We got him through the entire uh, display. Uh, beautiful, beautiful tribute to Nick Cardi, who we lost earlier this year of, of Cardi's furniture mattresses, as well as uh, Jack Reckner's daughter, uh, who tragically passed away over the past year as well. Mm-hmm. Very nice tributes to them as well as other people. But it was an exciting night to see uh, him kind of take it all in. He was he was a little he was a little taken back by some of it. He just kind of you know, but he loved the Laughing Tree. Yes, uh, he he was he was into that. So. It is the final weekend for the Jack Elena Spectacular. If you had planned to go on one of the nights, we've had some kind of funky weather lately. If you were planning to go one of those nights and you missed it, please uh, don't let that stop you. Go this weekend and support the zoo. It does an amazing job. This is the biggest fundraiser of the year. Plus, it is some incredible artistry and artwork. Jack Elena Spectacular. <laughs> Believe it or not, no 
November is going to be this weekend. And so frequently in November, we think about giving back and what we're thankful for and how we can help others. So we here at Wicked Roadie, in general, like all year long, are really excited to partner with the United Way of Rhode Island to help spread the word about different opportunities you, your friends, your family can do and volunteer in and around the Ocean State. Beginning with the Rhode Island Blood Center, we've talked about this before, but they are always in need of blood drive volunteers. Those folks help. They don't worry; they won't make you. You know, they won't make you siphon any blood off anybody. Uh, they are looking for the volunteers to help collect, process, and distribute the products uh, to the state of Rhode Island and the neighboring communities. They're uh, the you know the the help. They they look to uh, they need the volunteers to you know get the paperwork done mm-hmm. and greet the donors and guide them through the process. They also need people to help hang signs from time to time. Uh, you know, maybe offer refreshments after a donation happens. Yes. Here's a here's a hint. Here's a tip. You see somebody feeling a little lightheaded. You say, "Look, you want you want this four pack of cookies? I'll give you three. And I'll keep one." <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the way we do it here. All right. Yeah, a little bit for you, a little for me. Okay. Maybe I'm feeling a little peckish giving this to you. No, kidding. It's a horrible thing to say. If you want to reach out to the Rhode Island Blood Center, Mary, I'm getting worse with this. Do you believe they let me on public radio as Seriously, well? Seriously, man. It's, it's crazy. Well, not the public radio, but radio. Uh, that the public the kids to listen yeah. to. Yeah. That's it. If you've got a transmitter in your car, folks, I am talking to you. Oh my what gosh. else? Please, please class this up a little bit, Mary. Hey, the holiday season is here. I believe holidays start with Halloween and you know once November 1st hits a lot of places are decorated for Christmas season including Blythewald Mansion they're mm-hmm. asking for people to be volunteers for the tea service so it's of course that historic mansion surrounded by acres of gardens and they have a really cool tea that takes place um, in late November so if you're 16 and older you can check it out oh, very cool if you want to learn more about United Way of Rhode Island please Head on over to their website or simply dial 211 and get connected to the help you need. Mary, this is the longest episode we've ever done. Oh my gosh. I Look think. Look at that. I would agree. All I right. Well, congratulations to you for making it to the end of this marathon. And as we said in the beginning, just in case you forgot, because that was a whole 27 minutes ago, everything we talked about today can be found <laughs> on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. We hope that you have an incredible holiday weekend. Hopefully you stay dry. Hopefully you eat your candy. Well, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram, and we would love to check out any and all of the events that you're going to this week. Just use that hashtag, Wicked Roadie. Want to see what we can do for your business? Go over to our Facebook page. Check out the video we made. We went to float. We had a good time. And if you're looking to get the message directly into the ears of your listeners, your customers, our listeners, rather, email us, wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. That's right. Until next time, folks, my name's Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. That's like George Costanza. George <laughs> Costanza. Costanza. <laughs> <laughs>